Once again, I'm back to show you how to make a ton of coins in FIFA 23. But if you don't have the time to use these methods 24-7 and you want maybe an easier route of getting coins, well, if you guys are looking to get some FIFA coins to improve your team and smash through Weekend League, check out U4GM FIFA 23 coins and you can use code RECALL for 5% off at checkout. Make sure to go check out the sponsor, guys, but let's get into the video. So before we go into the game, what we are going to do is our daily check if EA are still scumbags. So we're going to go on the market. Is it resetting still? Yes, it is. So we're going to go over to the normal market that we've been using recently. And once again, if you don't know where that is, you go over to the squad screen, you click, click LB for Xbox. On PS5, it's the same position, that, that first button there. And it brings you over to here. If you click Premier League and you come back out, not like that, but it is still there. And then what you want to do is click Y to come back onto the list. You click Y again. So it's a really easy way of using the trials and turn market at the minute. Now, of course, with the exit of England from the World Cup, there have been some changes in the path to glory players. And unfortunately, it now means that Premier League left wing path to glory is a really good filter because you've got Grealish and Pulisic. Of course, Pulisic? Pulisic. Of course, we are happy to see the USA out. As always, they are an absolutely mud nation for football. But it is a shame to see the mighty England out. Obviously, anyone who is English has the same opinion on that referee. But, you know, if it was rigged or not, uh, we don't know, but obviously we, we, we took a loss there. Kane probably shouldn't have been on a second pen. So you kind of have to think about that as well. I did think that it was, uh, you know, the pen and the pressure of being on a pen once in a game, you know, on that kind of caliber. It, it, it was very easy for him to miss the first one. He didn't, and he did really well to get that. I think we should have let someone else take it. Um, we had a ton of players who could have been taking pens and we just chose not to. But speaking about this, of course, you've got Pulisic on here. You've got Grealish looking at who else can come under there. I think it is just those two. And um, so you've got Pulisic and, and Grealish there. But we're going to go over uh, to pricing of, I mean, it's basically 70k. EA tax is basically 1.5, which is there. If we go down to 67, Grealish took such a fall from grace that I think there's a good chance that you're going to get a good snipe on him, especially uh, being that this filter is like fresh. Um, I think he literally went from 180k to 70k. So there'll be still people posting Grealish and hoping um, that they're going to be getting like a good value out of him and probably relisting him less. I think Pulisic, just to have a look, goes as low as 10k. And from the looks of thing, Grealish goes as low as 61. Um, obviously, you've also got Carl Walker there, but I can't imagine his is going to get anywhere close to these prices right right now being that he is still the the mighty Carl Walker and he's still pretty incredible in game so I can't imagine uh it's going to be too difficult to be selling him on if you did have him but if you had him at the heights uh or at the stage that England were drawing or even before the game you probably took a bit of a loss there we're going to see how long it takes us to grab a Grealish I'm pretty sure we can get one or two. Oh no we've just missed the 60k I thought it was 60 Nine. I thought I'd clicked the thing wrong. That is outrageous. We mixed a 60k snipe there. Oh, that would have been like eight. No, that's wrong. 7k profit roughly. So that would have been wonderful. Pretty big of an L there. I can't lie. Um, probably cry myself to sleep over that one. We'll try and get one more and then we'll move into another field. But that is pretty upsetting that we missed that one there. I cannot lie. Right, we'll move on. So similar price range, World Cup path to glory. You want to go to 167k to just kind of see who's there. You've got Kim Man J, and you've got a Rujo there as well. So these are the two you're going to be finding. But they are actually mostly sat around the, the 70. I think we got a Rujo is, let's have a look. So we got uh, da, 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 da. Kim Man J is 85k, a Rujo is 86. Um, and then you can also switch this filter up from, well, I'll show you that in a moment. But for, for now, we're going to try to snipe one of these bad boys in a singular filter so you've got 86 85 i mean 87 for the sell point 10 percent off is 8.7 so we half it it's about 5k you take off 5k you're making a profit there so we can do that 5k is is just um i think you're looking at a four or five hundred coin profit not massive but it's good for like the minimum stage of profit there so we'll see what we can do see if we can get anything better i reckon we'll probably get one at 80 if anything um i don't really see them being listed at 82 i reckon 80 is probably a prime point arujo would have been a really good player to have as a center back a little while back so he's definitely one um that you can look at to, to possibly whack in your squad i think from what i was told he was one of the better versions um of, of center back in the league um he's one of the best center backs in the game supposedly i saw a couple of people shouting that Oh, I don't know what that one was. I feel like we missed a good one there. We'll have to have a look at that in post, see if I did miss, in fact, uh, a good one. You're probably going to be seeing me. Well, I'll, I'll, realistically, if it was more than okay profit, I'll be pretty upset. Um, so just prepare for that. Uh, we've got... I mean, we can move on because we've seen one. Like, that's all I need to show you is me seeing one, obviously. Being that I'm sniping so fast, it's going to be a little bit harder to actually get the cards. 
Uh, we'll do a 10 count, so 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, oh, 3, 2, 1. Right, okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the other one we can do. We can do Syria and we can do Napoli. So with that one, obviously, you've got Lozano and then you've also got Kim Man J there as well. Um, Lozano, not really much more uh, in terms of cost. So once again, back at the, the 80 kind of two mark there, E3. Let's have a look. Most of these are 88 now, so we'll go down by to 83 and that's still a good profit there we'll see oh not what we wanted is it and um, we'll see how many come up and then we'll move on to the next one of course we do have a, a final filter to show us off i hope you guys have enjoyed the video obviously i know we've been brief just going to get a filter out there i've got tomorrow's video pre-recorded and i'm trying uh, to get as much daily content and consistent content out, out we'll also be doing a little bit more fifa work over the holidays um, and i am moving from my current job and get well i'm getting at less hours at my current job and then moving to something a little bit um suited better for hours because at the moment i work like a ridiculous amount and i get paid well um but i can get paid better and work less hours so of course it's making sense to do that right we're going to move to the final one Final one, the prices for these are absolutely crazy. We've got Milik and we've got Lukaku on this one. Um, if you have a look at all the players you can get, you've got Milik, Milinkovic, Savic, Lukaku, um, the centre backs we've been looking at, um, the Roman players. You've got a ton of players from the Serie A that had these cards that just have flopped. Um, so you've got a really good opportunity to make a ton of coins out of these guys. Um, let's have a look where they're sat. So 30k seems to kind of be the mark for these ones. I think Milik, where would Milik be? Let's have a look. I'm gonna see if I can find his price range. I'm pretty sure it's low as hell. So Milik, Mil, no, not Milik, Fetch Savic. Milik, he is 29,500. So to be fair, it's realistically 30K. So we go 1K down, 500, that's EA tax. We'll go to 28, because um, that means anything we pick up is very decent profit. And to be fair, this is quite a good fill up. Like off the cuff, I found a few of these like just now. And I'm pretty happy with this one, especially because you do get a pretty big selection of players to, to be choosing from and to be able to make a profit off. And that's kind of what you want with these filters is the more players, the more likely you are going to make a big profit off of this. And of course, the fact that we can go out in here, go over here and it's still there. Obviously, it's not ideal with the current state of like the market. I don't like the way they've got it at the minute, but we can adapt, we can use this section, you've got compare price, you've got options. I think this filter especially, compare price, is really good for, um, because now that a load of these players are out or, or just easily snipeable, you're in a big win there. Let's see if we can get anything for 28,500. Is anything gonna come up? Are we just taking L's here? There's nothing gonna come up for me, come on. They just, I feel like EA just, just don't wanna see us to win right now, come on, come on. Just show me something. Just show me something. I'm not even sniping very fast, to be fair. Right, we're going to leave it there. That is a very good filter. I just, I'm very in the not mindset for videos right now. But I'm going to get a few out. I'm clearly just not in the sniper mindset. I'm going to do some squad builders. And hopefully you guys enjoy them more. And hopefully we actually progress in the, the squads a little bit more than we have in this. But you guys know, all you got to do is follow it yourself. Be a little bit better at sniping than me. And you'll make a ton of coins. And I'll see you in the next one.